What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Scotland Road Trip episode 2. Tonight we're going to be heading to an abandoned mental asylum in the middle of nowhere. Apparently this place hasn't been closed too long so it might be pretty untouched. But we'll see when we get there. This asylum first opened its doors in 1866, holding up to 200 patients to begin with. By the 1960s, it had the leading child psychiatry department, but things had drastically changed by 2014 when a case was won against the hospital for neglecting a child. A family had raised a number of complaints before finding out about the seclusion room that had no light, toilet or water. They said that their son had been left inside this room overnight, unobserved and suffering from an untreated broken hand. This led to it being abandoned and replaced, leaving its long hallways dark and silent, filled with memories from its past. We've just got into an abandoned hospital in the middle of nowhere in Scotland and it looks insane. Wow. That's crazy, isn't it? Can't believe we're in it. It's like a little... It's like a little bathroom. Look at this painting. It's proper creepy. storage room, still got the cabinets, Rodo Macmillan, whoa, look at this, this is like proper old school, electrotherapy baths, oh yeah, they used to have these in Barragoni, I'm getting super creepy vibes in here right now, oh yeah, it's just a bath. God, look at that old painting, it's like all messed up. Everything's on a wonk. Oh my God, look at this. It's really creepy in here, man. It's crazy. Sure. Can you feel like some like jewelry ball? Yeah. You see the paintings? Yeah, man. It was all kids' paintings. Kids, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ward 9 activities. Like a 
activity room for the kids. Oh look, they've still got the chairlift for the stairs. Yeah, I heard the knock as well. There are children here. Maybe we can hear your voice. Big place, man. Look at those scissors. Those are creepy. God, look at the old bathtubs. This place is in great condition. Make a sound for us. Just keep walking, see if we get a fall. I thought it was going to go, what is that? Is it really? It's in the tallest door frames. Oh, yeah. Huge. Yeah, 
right down the bottom. Did you hear that then? Was that behind you, Jess? Mm. So you phone us then? Try and make a song for us. You make another bang for us. So I saw something under that radiator. I thought it was your hand, but it wasn't. That's my bit. Can you bang again for us? Oh my god, I feel like someone behind me. I feel like that as well. Yeah. Really? Then, then I just did when you just jumped. You I was turned around. No, no. Turned around, then I pushed on your bag, so you gave me fright. But not before that, I promise. You won't push me forward then. No. Facing me. You were facing me. Good man. I was, I was pointing. I was pointing my out on that. It honestly was like someone pushing me forward. No, because when you turned, that's when I pushed. What the? Because you gave me fright. I jumped. I've literally got some goosebumps right now. I promise. I didn't touch. Right, I'm a little bit freaked out now. Is that light over there? Do you know that That's right, it must be light. Like, like. Should we try and move on to see what's going on? Yeah. Holy shit. That's three really pounds so Honestly, when you jump, that's when I touch your back. Yeah. 
there's only one, there's a door there, but it's probably locked, man. And walk towards us if you can. Oh, I think that's in the line there. It's such a weird feet, like, do you want me to stand right back, like, face up on your back? Can you run towards us? Come on, run towards us if you can. That's crazy. 100% door. Yeah, it's definitely a door. It's had like that, um, you could hear like the suction thing, couldn't you? Yeah, that loud shh. Yeah. That loud. Mm. Creepy, isn't it? Looking down there. Jesus. What was that? That's music. No, that was like a, like a music box. Yeah. That was coming from down there, man. Oh, I just got like a gust of cold oh, air just yeah. hit me in the face. That sounds like a music box. Music. The kids were, and then they were having the kids. The jewelry box that you wind up when it opens like this. Let's listen to it again. Yeah. Wait. I think it's like an alarm. I didn't hear that. Yeah. It's, it's an alarm. Exactly the same time. It's an alarm. Alarm. That's weird. Dun and dun, yeah. It's, coming, it's definitely coming from that way. Oh, this is the old dining room. Ah. Old calf. Stinks in there. Still smells like old food or something.
Wood 9 dormitory. That's, it's locked. Someone's already tried. Oh, my shadow creeped me out then. It's that noise again. Yeah. This is Oh my god, look at that. This is definitely a child's ward, 100%. Goes upstairs here as well. I still think it's safe for a look. I look at the ceiling and the yeah. Really, I'm not going up there. Like that. Well, so, that social work departments, as better as offices. Yeah. Let's go to shop. Look at the other way. Yeah, I mean. You said the library was down there. Yeah, it said library this way, yeah. Probably, I reckon, if you keep going there, because. Oh, you might know. It says buy your stamps in there, doesn't it? Snow machine. Look at this secret passage to the next ward. It's down there. Yes, it's the electric box yeah, in the wall. It's not coming down. Oh, really? Could you hold this a minute? The other side's bigger. We have absolutely no explanation for what we heard here. After the shouting in what sounded like a masculine Scottish accent, something followed soon after. It sounds to us like a disembodied laugh with a hysterical tone to it. We did not hear this laugh until reviewing the footage after we had left the building. We immediately decided to check outside as it was so loud and clear we expected to find a group of people. As we reached the entry point, the police were there to greet us. They confirmed no one else was in the vicinity and that they hadn't heard any shouting from outside the building. We didn't see any other people as we arrived at this desolate location or when we left. If there were other people nearby, we would have seen their vehicle somewhere. We can only speculate on what we heard here. Was this the voice of an angry staff member who once worked here, followed by the crazed laugh of a patient? Or maybe the bellowing of a pained resident and the sinister laugh of a nurse? Or just a group of people who somehow disappeared into the night? Let us know what you think. We don't know who that was, but that was someone screaming and flipping out, so we're going to head back. Head back down to the other part of the hospital. So I mean, you can't hear anything now. 
it was like, rawr, rawr, I, I thought it was someone like right out here yeah, screaming. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to look back on the footage quick and just have a quick listen. Yeah, you should, man. Do you know what I mean? It was like, what? Yeah, and the next thing was like a scream. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you've got it because honestly, I just literally, I'm just going to do I'm going to keep my camera recording at all times. I, I think I've just seen a light down there, bro. Isn't it there? Oh no, that's the dormitory. Yeah. Anyway. We should we should go back to where we came in to have a look, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon. That was really weird. Then there was like a massive rush or something behind me. Didn't didn't have it in film either. Guys, we've had to leave there, unfortunately. Obviously, you've seen the police turned up, but that screaming and shouting we've heard, there's no one around here. We're literally in the middle of nowhere in Scotland, and there's screaming and shouting. And there's a loud shout and then a scream after, so we're going to review the footage, watch back, and try and work out what it is. But drop us down in the comments and let us know what you think it is. Is it paranormal, or is there some kids here? Catch you next time. Thank you.